All right. So this will be part four, and this will be our last piece. We're just going to talk about two words that you're going to see over and over again, and I just want you to understand the difference. So the first word that we're going to put in our notes is the word equation. So we, when we think about equations, I think about this little piece right here that almost looks like the word equal. And that helps me remember that an equation, we have an equal sign. And so is some examples of that in fifth grade may look like three times two equals six. Or maybe we have five plus two equals seven. And we might have two plus ten is equal to six times two. Those would be some examples of an equation. And then finally, we might see some examples where they throw in a variable like this and we have to find the value of p based on the relationships we know of about 3 and 27. So an equation has an equal sign. The other word that I want you to put in your notes is the word expression. An expression does not have an equal sign. We're going to be looking at some um, expressions later this week and we will not be using an equal sign in these expressions to solve. So an expression is just using symbols or using math symbols. So we'll write a few examples of this in our notes and then we'll be done with our notes for today. So that's just simply where you just leave that, ex that equal sign off so if we have 3p, or we have 2 times 3, or maybe we want to get a little more complicated like we're going to get this week where we say that we have 2 times 10 plus 3, or even when we want to use some math symbols to show some relationships and we might say 50 plus 10 times 3 minus 10. So we just have lots of symbols going on but no equal sign. Okay, so we're going to talk more about equations but especially expressions later on in the week. Make sure that you have these notes and when you're finished with your notes, if you'll just raise your hand, I, I'll, come, um, I'll come around and I'll check you off in my gradebook to make sure that you've done the expected activity for today.